These are the radius and ulna. And these happen to be left radius and the left ulna. This round top is the head of the radius. This protrusion here is called the radial tuberosity, also known as the biceps tuberosity. This is where your biceps muscle tendon attaches. This is the styloid of the radius. This is the ulnar notch where the head of the ulna will lock into the radius. The radius is on the left side because the styloid has to point to the thumb and the flat surface goes up. Also, the biceps tuberosity or radial tuberosity has to go up. This is a left radius. This is a left ulna. This is the trochlear notch, sometimes referred to as the semilunar notch. And on the front ridge of this semilunar notch is the coronoid process. The top of the notch is the olacranon process, which locks into the olacranon fossa. This is the styloid. This point is the styloid of the ulna, and this is the head of the ulna. And the head of the radius, or crown of the radius, will fit neatly into this round notch. This is the radial notch on the ulna. The styloid points to the little finger when the olacranon process and the semilunar notch or trochlear notch is up. This is a left ulna.